Are you ready to talk about your CM and sophomore? I'm Crystal Walter and I'm a junior. Here Cobbs and I'm a soft junior. <laughs> My name is Anna Marie Castro and I'm a freshman. And we're from Omaha South. This is to the girl no one talks to. Shawty matters, but she can't find the word. Word. Rhythm is faint and is route lost. lost. She doesn't see the sign. Because it's pretty action, she won't taste. taste. Whispering the melody, she doesn't like to hear. Listen. These words I bundled up in a basket for you. With edges of the blanket tucked with me, who knit them? With every action and vowel I've ever wanted to express to you. In a depth like aching song that flows rhythmically into the pair. As a beautiful song singing, every moment you are silent. Notes tumbling down your body. Wake up from this coma, this dream, this sleep, or whatever you're deep into. I pitch your skin, but I'm slightly afraid it might crack and leave evidence crumbling in the guilty crevices of my fingers. See, in my nails lie a foul burden. Don't we have enough blood stapled to our feet? How much fuller can our eyes get with pointless aggression? How many different masks does it take before you eventually fade away? Away, away to the point where no one really notices you. Something about those brick, he brick headphones flexible for you when you can't take a laugh in your other kind. The waves even between your ears as you scream. Let, Let me in before, before the silence melts you. you. Walking down the hallway, turn your head to white faces. Faces that ignore you in a damp hall classroom with bodies in the dark future. Maybe she's just sleeping. When she's over the toilet on all fours, clearing her stomach of all the rude comments. Dirty all the stress. Fingers suctioned against broken tile, deciding Pink. which color to change Green. into. Purple. Blue. Help me! In her grunts. I hate you! As she inhales. Walking back to the classroom like nothing ever happened. My mouth doesn't open. Eyes only twitching. Billions of people in this world, and I never would have guessed that my own brother got through every day with 100% air in his body. Maybe if I had listened to his lucid stories, or fell asleep next to him actually listening to him talk to a breathless ceiling, until one day, his skin couldn't take it, and I peeped through brother's room to see a rope hugging his neck in the ceiling, and his feet dangling silently. With every action and bow I've ever wanted to express to him, and a death-like aching song that flows rhythmically in stiff air, there is a beautiful song that sings ever since he went silent. Walking back to the classroom, a gray in her eyes, no. a blue in her smile. No. I would help you, but. Baby, I'm wrong about you. It's not my problem. It's not my business. Until I watch her body, same weight as my brother's, leap over the staircase. Girl in the bathroom. Find the words. Girl in the hallway. Look at the signs. Girl, I want to know. Listen to the melody. I, I would, would help, help you, you, but. Don't let it be too late. Have no blood on our hands, questioning a hatred 